Hi folks, I'm Donna and welcome to another one of my DIY videos. Um, this time I'm working on a bowl which I'm going to make into a faux pottery um, bowl. I am just using a plate that I picked up at a uh, thrift shop and I have sprayed the plate black whether I needed to or not. It's kind of debatable but I did just to make it a nice even surface. So here I'm just rolling out the air dried clay. It's going to be maybe two or three mil thick because I do want to um, score it. I always try to remember to glue um, my basis that I'm sticking the clay onto. It really helps. Just a thin even layer is good, not a dripping coat because of course that's going to um, add to the finish of the, um, of the clay because you'll, when you, you'll have a bubble under it and if you go to push it out you'll have the clay, the glue come up through the clay and where the glue comes up onto the front side of the clay it will um, add as a resistor to um, paint when you go to paint it after it's all dry. So I have just with the glad wrap put the clay over the, the bowl and are just gently pushing it in and working it around and I do go in with a um, I've actually got a, a metal skewer here or whatever it's called, that's not what it's called. But anyway, and I push out the air bubbles, bubbles to the best of um, my ability and just tidy up the edge as well. So next I'm um, going to go on with the Indian the indentation or um, the marking of it. I've lost the word, never mind. Um, yeah, so I did have lots of thoughts about how I was going to do this and I had a few cake making tools, a few cake making tools that I thought might um, do a good job. But in the end I went with a measuring spoon because I like the roundness of it and the depth that it um, left when you pushed down and put pressure on the clay. I think it left a nice bowl like scallop um, edge in it. With it all nice and dry, I just gave the edges a light sand, mainly the sides and the top rim, just to tidy it up a little bit. I didn't worry about too much about the inside. Um, from there, I did give it a layer of white paint, just a um, base layer essentially. Um, I also did go over that white paint with a tan layer which I didn't like so I've gone back in again with uh, a layer of the white um, as I thought that was a better layer for the for the base so from there I started adding um, more of a darker a darker tan as a base layer um, because I wanted it to be well, I can't even think of the word what I wanted it to be but I had a picture in my mind and I thought this um, was going to be it but it didn't quite work out that way never mind as I put the tan paint on you'll notice that I'm going in with a rag as well and just wiping the excess off. This is one of my favorite te techniques. I also do this with the burnt umber that I'm going over top of the tan. I'm hoping that the tan, I mean the, the burnt umber is gonna stay in the cracks and give it some aged depth. Um, it kinda does and it kinda doesn't. Maybe it's a scallop design that I put on there, doesn't work with it, I'm not entirely sure. 
but for some reason this technique did not work as well as it has on some other um, projects I've done it on. So when that was done I did go in with a, um, a varnish, gave it a light coat, just a matte, I didn't want it shiny and um, then this is the finished product. So thanks for watching today, I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for some more projects that I've got in the pipeline. See ya!